On August 30, 2024, Japan's Ministry of Defense, MOD, unveiled its largest ever budget request for fiscal year 2025, seeking 8.5389 trillion Japanese yen, 53.65 billion euros. This substantial budget, a notable increase over previous years, underscores Japan's commitment to modernizing its defense capabilities, particularly the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, JGSDF, with a strong emphasis on upgrading and expanding its fleet of armored vehicles. A significant portion of the budget is allocated for the acquisition of various armored vehicles. Central to this modernization is the procurement of three types of common tactical wheeled vehicles, CTWV, developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and based on the proven Type 16 maneuver combat vehicle. Among these, two variants of the Type 24 CTWV have garnered significant attention, the Armored Wheeled Combat Vehicle, AWCV, variant and the Mobile 120mm Self-Propelled Mortar, MM, variant. The JGSDF plans to acquire 18 AWCVs, at a cost of 21.8 billion Japanese yen, and 8 MM variants for 8.3 billion Japanese yen. These new vehicles are expected to be delivered starting in 2024, providing the JGSDF with enhanced flexibility in combat and artillery support roles. The Type 24 AWCV, manned by a crew of three, is designed to transport eight soldiers and is armed with a Bushmaster MK44 30mm cannon and a 7.62mm MK52 coaxial chain gun mounted on a remote-operated turret to reduce weight. The Type 24 MM features a crew of five and is equipped with a Thales 2R2M 120mm mortar system for mobile artillery support. In addition to these variants, the JGSDF is acquiring six units of the Type 25 reconnaissance and combat vehicle, pending official designation, at a cost of 9 billion Japanese yen. This vehicle shares many design elements with the AWCV but is equipped with a manned turret, the same 30mm cannon as the AWCV, and advanced surveillance technology from Elbit's Multisensor Reconnaissance and Surveillance System, MRSS. All three variants share a combat weight of around 26 tons and a maximum speed of over 100 km per hour, and they will be integrated into Japan's 10-tank network, 10TKNW, system, ensuring coordination across the battlefield. Over time, the JGSDF plans to acquire 150 AWCVs, 100mm variants, and 120 reconnaissance vehicles, significantly strengthening its armored reconnaissance, infantry transport, and artillery capabilities. Alongside the domestic development of the Type 24 series, Japan is continuing its effort to modernize its fleet of 8x8 armored personnel carriers by acquiring 28 Patria AMV XP vehicles for 22.5 billion Japanese yen. This acquisition, initiated in 2023 to replace the aging Type 96 8x8 armored personnel carriers, will be carried out under license by Japan Steel Works. However, the Ministry of Finance, MOF, has raised concerns over the slow pace of production and high domestic manufacturing costs, capping the FY24 production budget at 15.8 billion Japanese yen for imported units. Consequently, all units purchased under the FY25 budget will be imported directly. Beyond the CTWV and AMV acquisitions, the JGSDF is also requesting funds for other armored assets, including 15 Type 16 Maneuver Combat Vehicles asterisk asterisk for 15.6 billion Japanese yen. 14 Type 19 155mm Wheeled Self-Propelled Howitzers asterisk asterisk for 14 billion Japanese yen. 12 Type 10 Main Battle Tanks asterisk asterisk for 23.1 billion Japanese yen. These acquisitions reflect Japan's strategic need to enhance its mobile firepower and armored warfare capabilities to meet evolving security challenges. Looking forward, the MOD has initiated an upgrade program for the Type 10 main battle tank, with a request for information issued on June 28, 2024, by the Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA. This upgrade is expected to extend the operational life of the Type 10 and improve its performance on the battlefield. At the same time, Japan is preparing to phase out older equipment. Starting in 2025, the JGSDF will begin mothballing outdated systems, including the Type 74 and Type 90 main battle tanks and the M270 multiple launch rocket systems. A budget of 700 million Japanese yen has been allocated for constructing storage facilities to house these systems. The increased defense spending comes amid growing regional tensions and evolving security concerns, particularly with regards to China's military rise and North Korea's missile capabilities.
The modernization of Japan's armored vehicle fleet is a key component of its broader strategy to enhance defensive and offensive capabilities in response to potential threats in the Asia-Pacific region. This significant investment in advanced armored platforms, coupled with upgrades to existing systems and the introduction of cutting-edge technologies, will enable the JGSDF to operate with greater mobility, firepower, and resilience. As Japan continues to build up its defense forces, this budget marks a critical step in strengthening its ability to protect national security and contribute to regional stability.